Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Today we are diving into two major protocols shaping the future of AI and agentic systems. Anthropic's Model Context Protocol MCP and Google's Agent to Agent or A2A. Both are open standards but they serve distinct complementary roles in how AI systems communicate and interpret operate. If you are trying to decide which protocol to use or if you are just curious about how truly connected AI ecosystem are being built, this episode of podcast will walk you through their differences, how they complement each other and why the answer isn't either or or but both. We are going to break down their architecture, communication methods, use cases and more using side by side tables and real world analogies to help you get a clear picture. If you are interested in more technical detail as how to get them installed locally, how to play around with them, how to use them for real world use cases, then go to my channel and just search with MCP tutorial and I have done this easiest tutorial on MCP available on the internet at the moment. And we also have covered it from various other angles if you just go through the channel. Also for Google's A2A and their technical implementation ADK, I already have covered it on the channel in great detail. All you have to do is to just search it out. So now let's get started. First up, what we are going to do, we are starting by clarifying the foundational goals of MCP and A2A. MCP is designed to connect AI agents with the tools, data sets and resources they need, creating a standardized way for agents to access structured inputs and outputs. Its real strength lies in helping AI agents access and use external systems like business tools or databases, making these connections much simpler and more reliable. A to A by contrast, is built to help agents communicate and collaborate directly with one another. It's less about plugging into a tool and more about enabling back and forth dialogue and negotiations between fully autonomous agents. In short, MCP is about connecting to what an agent needs to get a task done, while A2A is about how agents work together to solve complex multi-step problems. Looking at the technical side, MCP operates using a classic client-server model. Agents as clients connect to tools or data servers, MCP servers through standard transports like HTTPS or even local integrations. It's designed for modularity with tools and resources clearly defined and accessible as MCP resources. A to A, on other hand, models each agent as a privately operated service exposing an HTTP endpoint with all communication happening over secure web-friendly protocol. This remote application level approach is particularly suited to enterprises where agents may need to negotiate or interact without revealing their internal workings. When it comes to actual communication, MCP uses highly structured schemes. Think of it as issuing exact commands to a tool where both sides know each and every detail in advance. It's perfect for focused one-off tasks or direct queries. A to A is far more conversational, supporting negotiation and rich back and forth dialogue between agents, often with long-lived interactions that mirror real-world collaboration. If MCP is your tool workshop where you get things done with precision, A to A is the conference room where ideas are bounced around until the best path forward is found. For task management and discovery, MCP is built around the idea of single quick interactions. Ask a question, get an answer, move on. It uses JSON schemas to meticulously define which APIs or resources are available. With A to A, tasks can be complex, requiring multiple agents and steps over time. Discovery in A to A is handled through agent card, 
which is a metadata file that publicly lists what each ad agent can do while tracking each workflow's progress in detail. Where MCP excels at making tools discoverable to agents, A2A's focuses on making agents discoverable to one another. Finally, security and ecosystem participation are key areas of difference. MCP requires secure configurations and doesn't natively provide robust agent-to-agent -agent security, whereas A2A inter incorporates enterprise-grade security including modern authentication standards like OAuth. The MCP ecosystem is growing with tool providers and data integrations from Google Drive to GitHub while A2A is aimed at fostering rich collaborative exchanges across agents built by different vendors and frameworks. Ultimately, MCP and A2A both strive for interoperability, but each does so from a different angle. MCP for agents accessing tools, A2A for agents working with other agents. So that's pretty much it. I hope that this was useful and now you understand the difference between MCP and A2A. There are a lot of other technical details which you can go through and implement them. But the key point if you want to take away from this video is that these are not competitors really. They complement each other and I believe that even in these early days you can use them together but as they are maturing quite rapidly and ecosystem is growing lot of big companies are behind it things are getting open source so i am hoping that this is going to be a industry standard using them maybe it's not in current form but it is going to evolve quite rapidly and it is just a matter of i believe months before we see this thing may be integrated or having one specific standard being followed also I wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent Bot. Agent Bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack, and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So please do check them out. Also, if you like the content, please do me a favor, like the video, share the video. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so as that helps a lot. And I heavily rely on you guys to market the videos to, you know, share the channel because that is the only marketing I do. And I'm very, very grateful for your support as always. Thank you very much.